Hi, I'm Lara Studinsky and I'm the Student Union's new Vice President of Wellbeing. I'd like to talk about a few things that might be worth bearing in mind when planning your upcoming year. This year is going to be very unique. You might be feeling overwhelmed by all these changes that are happening, but so will a lot of your students. They will be facing personal difficulties, financial, housing related or family related. They might also be facing digital poverty. They have just finished an academic year that was disrupted by lockdown and by strikes and might be feeling anxious about how much they missed last term. They will need time to learn how to relearn and to adapt to responsive blended learning. It might also be worth going over some basic points with them and some key points from last term. You as members of the academic staff are the first point of contact between your students and the university. You need to encourage them to build communities in and outside the classroom, to give them a sense of belonging and connection and to replace the links that they would normally make on campus. Long distance learning should not mean isolation. Encouraging group discussions and group projects, as well as promoting societies and other activities is a good place to start. Now being the main point of contact for students should not be putting more pressure on your shoulders. Remember, you are not alone, you are not expected to hold all the answers, and you're not a trained counsellor. The university's wellbeing services and the Student Union's Advice Hub are both excellent resources to signpost to students who are facing difficulties, whether academic or personal. Those would be my main key points. And another point that I would like to stress is take care of yourself. Delete your emails app off your phone, because emails can wait until after breakfast. Make sure to take some time for yourself, exercise and sleep well, and also treat yourself regularly, whether it's a scoop of ice cream, a face mask or a lion. There cannot be happy students without happy lecturers. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best for the upcoming year.